Right guys, in today's video I'll be having a look at Ratchet and Clank. Currently I have no frame generation in the game. And as you can see, okay wait, I'm at medium settings. Uh, displaying graphics, you can see I'm the FSR2 quality graphics, I just set it to medium preset. So generally I'm getting 30 odd frames up to the 40s, but it's not the smoothest of experiences. The game has been patched quite a bit, so it is a lot better than it was on launch. But you can say this isn't necessarily the most playable state the game is in. So alternatively, what you could do is you could put it at low. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be comparing low without the mod and low with the mod. So let's put frame generation into that Ratchet and & Clank and see how it performs. Right, so I've just added in frame generation and... If, Straight off the bat, in the same scene, previously with no frame generation at these settings, I was getting 35 to 40 FPS, and yeah, I'm getting 56 to 60 FPS, as you can see. So, um, as you can see, in certain areas, I'm getting up to 70 frames. Just to show my settings again, I was, it's exactly the same, except I changed from uh, FSR 2.2 to DLS quality with frame generation on. And then I'm still at the medium preset. And as you can see, previously we were getting 40, uh, 35 to 45 frames. Here yeah, we're getting between 60 and 70 frames. So you can see it's quite a big jump in performance. The game feels a lot smoother. In fact, it even looks better. Because Amity Episode 2.2 doesn't look so great. So it looks uh, quite a bit better. Um, one thing you'll notice is that there is a tiny little bit ghosting on the UI, but it's really not that much. There's a little bit on the reticle, but uh, the rest of the UI in-game is not really that noticeable. Seeing that we've seen what the performance is like, let me show you how to install it. Right, to install the mod into Ratchet and Clank, you want to go to the latest version of the mod, 0.9.0. Let's go in and then you want to be using SD, the SDK version. Just copy these four files over here. Boom. Go to wherever the game is located on your hard drive. So for me, it's over here. Where is it? Ratchet and Clank. There we go. Just paste it in your main game folder. And if you've got a cracked version of the game, you can just launch the game as is. But if you are on the Epic Store, what you need to do, and generally, whenever you try to launch a game with the FSR 3 mod in from the Epic Store, you need to get rid of your Epic Store overlay. So go to C Drive, go to Program Files x86, Epic Games, Launcher, Portal, Extras, Overlay, and then just clear out anything in this folder. And then you should be able to launch your game. If your game still crashes on the Epic Store, then what you need to do is close MSR Afterburner and River Tuner, then launch your game. Once your game has finished launching, you can reopen MSR Afterburner and River Tuner. If you are on uh, the Steam Store version, what you need to do is just go to Steam, go to Settings, go in-game, and then what you want to do is you want to switch off your in-game overlay, and then your game should launch normally. But for me, I am just on a cracked version of the game. So for me, I can just go ahead and launch the game. And then as you can see, the scripts start hooking. Then what you want to do is go to settings and you want to set the LSS quality and then switch on refle uh, reflex low latency as well as the LSS frame generation. Boom. Once you're done, you're done with the installation and you can enjoy the game. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Have a good weekend. It's people like you. Cheers.